Hi there, this is Michael from Elixir Online um, and I'm going to give a short presentation on Morgellons based on my research and um, hopefully make a working hypothesis which is of course based on conjecture because no one really knows what Morgellons is and I'm not a doctor this is just my own research with virus and its technologies and it's I can't prove I can't prove it but I can only say what what it has suggested and what is Morgellons well I think if you're watching this video you'll have a pretty good idea what it is um, but it isn't just I just want to make a point that it isn't just the the skin uh, legions it seems like there is a fair amount of a fair amount of internal um, disease. So, what does my research suggest? Um, well, I've done a fair amount of research on the nanotech aspects, um, and yeah, there are many there are many forms. So, you can have nanotech inside the cells, outside the cells, and you can have. I found when I've been testing that there are well there are informational fields put it that way I don't know if they actually exist and I, I and I say that as a disclaimer as well but basically if I test for nanotech I get positive but then I can test for things like nanotech in heart microorganisms so one that kept coming up was um, nanotech enhanced uh, by uh, mycoplasma and mycoplasma people think is a is a lab made organism to begin with um yes the and the nanotech it always comes up almost always as fullerenes graphenes carbenes graphites all, all of the carbon based nanotech and also which I, I keep finding the informational fields for when doing the bioresonance testing is crystal technology so nanocrystals and microcrystals and exotic elements and a very advanced technology, Star Trek sci-fi like technologies I would describe it as um, the crystal tech and the exotic, exotic elements basically um, that's any any compound any group of elements, so a group of elements is a compound um, if they're put together in a regular uh, structure they can be have crystal properties or, or actually be crystals and that's crucial, I believe, because with these nanocrystals, microcrystals, um, they can act as transmitters and receivers. Um, and I believe they then they can be controlled from radio devices like Wi-Fi. And also because crystals transmit and receive or transceive radio waves, also they transceive scalar or long longitudinal waves which is um, an area of what's called black physics and it's also how basically witchcraft works um, so yes that's a big part of Mongolian stuff that, that I will get into further um, on uh, when I do more presentations and the exotic elements I will show you now by going to periodic table basically when I, I've tested with the virus and its technologies which I'll show you later all kinds of elements were coming up and this has been suggested by Morgellons researchers who have tested the filaments and they've discovered that when they put the samples into mass spectrometers that the elements coming up are unknown elements so when I would when I were testing using bioresonance one that an element that came up a lot of the time was this fluorovium which is not really supposed to exist outside of a lab in small quantities and uh, kind of all of these light grey ones which a lot of them here have only actually recently been named in the last year or two and um, as I said they're not supposed to exist outside a lab in very small quantities uh, and one that it actually kept coming up which I want to comment on is 
is element 133 so it wouldn't even fit on this periodic table there would have to be another row and um, yes this this element 133 as I say it just keeps coming up um, as part of compounds and on its own but it's it's hard to find um, exactly the exact use of it but I believe this this element 133 has special properties where it can act as basically any kind of element um, so let me show you also the bioresonance technologies here this is um, German eBay and these are the kind of bioresonance technologies that I've been using so most of them here are based on something called electroacupuncture um, and I will show you yeah, so these bicoms and the Vega test is the most well known acupuncture electroacupuncture device and that's what EAV stands for electroacupuncture according to Vol because Vol was the guy who discovered it and these devices have been around since the 50s but you don't really see them outside Germany very often even inside Germany even though there are I believe thousands of clinics n n no Germans really have, that I've met have ever heard of them but they are very powerful because you can you test the electromagnetic properties of the body and you can actually test with a homeopathic remedy or with a, any kind of substance if that electromagnetic magnetic signature or informational signature is in the body uh, by putting it in, in the electric circuit with one of these devices <clears throat> and um, although the devices are very expensive here you can also use um, the holder clock syn synchrometer which uh, does the exact same job but it just does it the most basic way so um, I have a Vega tester I have a synchrometer um, but if you wanted to get into this if you use a synchrometer you can as a, you can do exactly the same things but it just takes you longer and I'll scroll down to the bottom here because there is another device I want to show you this this 3D NLS device here is um, based on Russian technology basically the original is called a Metatron and I think it's named after the angel Metatron and um, it's amazing te technology it's basically you put on headphones here headphones connect to this box and the box connects to a PC and then it will analyze your entire body every section of the body and it, uh, it does this through what's known as a digital version of radionics where basically it measures the electromagnetic properties again of your head and it runs that through a um, um, some mathematical algorithms non non-linear algorithms and it runs that those algorithms through a random number generator so it's like some kind of digitized chaos magic basically but the the results it actually gives um, are actually really good it gives you a really good idea um, it give, and it gives you a score but the but the advantage if you have both of these types of systems this the NLS will give you like the general idea uh, but with the EAV devices it will give you a yes no answer so a, a combination of this is very powerful um, go back to the presentation so the other thing that I want to talk about is the disease progression and this is something that I don't think many people many researchers have talked about um, I believe the basis of Morgellons is actually a metazoan which is uh, not a single celled organism a multicellular organism such as uh, flies and insects and marine organisms and based on the informational fields that I have detected and um, I believe that these form a cancer like amalgamation in the body where it actually fuses with the body's own cells and tissues and um, my research suggests that this is 
in the large intestine and in the appendix and I believe that this can happen because possibly the the, the appendix is uh, shut down basically by by bad vaccinations um, and then once the metazoan is is basically integrated in the body it can a series of microorganisms are released <coughs> and this with the nanotech I think this can be guided by the nanotech remotely to be honest I think um, there is evidence of this but it's very very hard to prove scientifically so this is just as I say <laughs> suggestions this is just conjecture um, yeah so the metazoan I think it you know, releases the worm the worm releases protozoa protozoas release bacteria and the bacteria infect the stem cells in the skin and um, you, there isn't I don't believe there's like one set of these organisms for formal gallons I, I believe it can be basically any organism uh, can cause it any organism now I think can be nanotech engineered um, and to do these things to the body and also here I've uh, discovered I think other people as well but what's called cross domain organisms but basically micro microorganisms that seem to be one half protozoa and one half mold or one half protozoa and one half bacteria they basically seem to be fused together I've realized the research yet spiritual is a big one and the environmental part of the environmental is the is the Wi-Fi uh, 4G 5G aspects that I've already mentioned um, going to these another time and uh, just a quick rundown on why why do people have more gallons? Well, I think testing and transhumanism has to be a large part. It seems like people are being tested on, um, and there's bit, there's a lot going on with transhumanism now. Transhumanism. Um, I think this is for an angel technology. Basically, it's very advanced technology, but it's also very ancient technology, and uh, you know appear to be at the end of an age, age now and if you have Morgellons it actually forces you to evolve spiritually so this is the positive aspect of it you have this absolutely crazy disease I mean and you basically have to change your life if you want to beat it um, and uh, ascend as the you know the new ages would say purify your body and mind yes I believe it is the end times disease so I just wanted to create this video, just it's my first video, I wanted to get some practice. I hope you can understand me, and uh, I'll try and get this uploaded, thank you.